Hi, second graders. So, you've been working hard in your classroom studying the parts of a whole. Today, we're giving you the parts. You're going to have to put them together to create a whole, a wind-up car. The first thing you're going to need to do is use your skewer to create holes in the cup and the two plates. You want your holes to be as close to the center as you can get. So I'm gonna turn my plate over. I'm gonna look at it and the best I can, it's okay if it's not perfect, just as close to the center as I think. Push, pop. I have a little tiny hole. Doesn't have to be too big. Then I'm gonna do the same thing to this one. As you can see, it bent a little bit when I did it. That was fine, it just bounced right back. One and two. Now only one left is your cup. This would be kind of tricky, so it might be easier to turn it over. Same thing, find the center, and push, and whoa, see that hole's a little bigger. Don't worry, that's okay. You're going to need to put your rubber band and you'll have a bead to support it, so don't worry. Okay, second graders, this next part is gonna take a lot of teamwork. This tiny rubber band needs to go through all three of the holes we created. You might even find that your hole needs to be a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna go back in my original hole and just kind of stick the skewer in a little bit more so it's a little bit of a bigger hole. Because I have to fit a rubber band through there. And that's not easy. So, since this is going to be the main frame of the car, and then you have your two wheels, you're going to want to first put the rubber band through your cup. That's going to be very difficult. So, what you can do, have one friend hold the cup, the other can use this rubber band. Andre Pusey, if you're in the building, you need to come to Line the it up office, over please. the hole. Andre Pusey, Use your office, skewer please. very carefully to push the rubber band through the cup. Now, hopefully your friend on the other end, or you, can go back and pull it out. You want it to be a little up on top and a little inside. That way it's going to connect to both plates. So the second step, once you have it a little bit on both sides, you're now going to need to put this same exact rubber band through this plate. So I would do the same strategy you did the last time. Lay it down over the hole. Use the skewer to push it through the hole. Then you turn it over. There it is. I would go back in my cup, make sure it's in the cup. Make sure, now you have one hand on either side. I have one hand in my cup, one in here. So I have the rubber band going through the plate and the cup. Then what I'm going to do is let go of this, or your friend could hold it, to make sure this rubber band doesn't go flying through the plate. So I can use this paper clip to hold it in place. I opened up this just a little bit so I can slide it through. Okay, here we go. Now, watch, when I pull my rubber band from in the cup, see how it's safe, it's nice and safe and in now? If you're worried that your hole is too big, that it's not going to hold, you can raise your hand and ask your teacher for some tape and they might want to tape this down for you. But it should be okay as long as it's like this. You don't want that paper clip to be able to go through the hole. As long as it's sticking up, that's fine. Okay. So now you're seeing we're almost done. I have to get this rubber band through this plate. It gets harder the farther you go because now the rubber band has less pull. So I'm lining it over the hole again, using my skewer again. Push it through and with your fingers, grab it. Okay, now I can see, Whee. Here we go. Look at that, it's all connected. So, how are we going to keep it on this side? Well, you're going to need your bead and your skewer. Carefully, with the help of your friend, carefully, carefully, you pull your rubber band through the bead. Notice how all I did, it's a pretty big bead. So you just hold the rubber band tight with two fingers then slowly slide the rubber band on. It doesn't take a lot of work. Just slowly 
and pull, okay? Now you're almost ready. Last step. Skewer. Okay, you are done. You have made your wind-up car. But now we're wondering, well, how does it work? Your skewer is in charge of the rubber band inside. So you are going to wind it up. That's why we call it a wind-up car. So you're winding it up, so you're tightening that rubber band inside. And then you can put it down and let it go. Maybe I need to wind it up more. Should be getting nice and tight in there. So I am needing to push it a little bit, so I might need to, let me take a look. Let me try it on another surface. So the skewer is getting in the way. Okay. So, the skewer is the issue. Okay. Right. Maybe the bead isn't big enough. Second graders, fun fact. This is the second wind-up car I've made, and it still takes a lot of trial and error. So, a lot of practicing and mistakes before it can actually work. Something I noticed is that if my skewer was touching my plate, it wasn't moving, so I kind of had to get it set up and then give it a little push before it would wheel. But then it would go, and then if I give it another little push, it would go farther. So these are things you and your partner need to figure out. You might want to change the length of your skewer, or maybe try to face it on a different direction, maybe on the carpet versus the floor or a table. Either way, have fun, and I'm sure you'll make a cool wind-up car.